It's a beautiful morning. I have coffee and it's the Nordic Championship. It's the best time of the year to spearfish here in Norway. The sun is shining and the mood is excellent. As the 30 guys and 7 gals from Norway, Denmark and Finland get ready to find out who is the Nordic champion. Days like this are absolutely worth waiting for. This year the Finnish were hosting. But since they already had the European Championship in Finland, they decided to host the Nordics the same place as Norway did last year. The magical island of Hitra. Very convenient for me and lots of fish for everyone. Each of the days had three different starting positions, a little boat ride away. Once there, it was just to calm the nerves, enjoy the sun and get ready for the start signal. It might not look very fast, but that opening swim to get to the best spot is absolutely grueling. And with lots of divers in the area, the fish will only stay for so long. So once you're at the spot, you just have to start diving. On my first dive, there were plenty of pollocks and a few cods swimming around. I took aim at the biggest one, and of course, it's my first shot in a competition. Just not meant to be. During my first dive, you can hear three other spear guns going off, so it was definitely a good area. With that first shot out of the way, I was ready to get some fish on the table. Hunting for Pollux, it's always smart to look over your shoulder. And right here, I see a few big ones coming up behind me. Instead of turning left and sort of chase them with a the spear gun, I turned very slowly to the right. As long as the fish continued where they were swimming, they would end up meeting my spear gun halfway. That way, it wouldn't be so obvious that I was hunting them. After that nice pollock, the fish went too deep for me. And with one, two, three, four other divers around, it was time to move on. While I've seen plenty of thornback rays in this area before, they've always been laying in sand and not swimming around, especially not above kelp, so this was really cool to see. And even cooler was when these guys came to check me out. Sadly only one of them made it on camera and it was a very brief appearance. So now I've been swimming around for quite some bit, 
competition wise it's going really bad I got one nice pollock and two smaller ones but that's how it is haven't seen that much really but it's a beautiful day sun is shining the visibility is like 15 20 meters I got a couple of sea otters coming up to me to check me out so it's a nice day at sea just had a banana and some water hope that helps it definitely did and after a quick check in the shallows i was right back at it Every now and then I forget to take the safety off when diving. It can be really annoying, but luckily that wasn't the case this time. Schools of bait fish tend to be a really good sign when spear fishing. Luckily, even the sound of my ears really not wanting to cooperate when diving wasn't enough to scare away this pollock. I was a bit unsure about how good the shot was, since the fish turned away just before I pulled my trigger. But it turned out to be a good holding shot. And as always, kill the fish as quickly as you can. Here I just completely forgot about the GoPro, so I have about 20 minutes worth of video with me just swimming around and seeing nothing interesting. A bit later I finally found the cod, a whole school of them on the sand. The GoPro was of course all out of memory, but I managed to pick up two nice ones on the way back to the boat. So all in all, it could definitely be a worse day. A new day, new opportunities, and new weather. Suit is hanging ready. Hopefully, some more fish. We weren't quite as many at the same starting point the second day, so I got the area I wanted to hunt all by myself. Last year, I hunted at the same area and got a lot of fish, so I was really hoping that the fish were still sticking around. It didn't take long before I found a batch of pollocks swimming beneath me. They were of good size at roughly 3-4 kilos, but man they were shy. The second I approached, they just spooked off. Since I couldn't approach them from the surface, I decided to go for a dive and hide beneath this little rock structure. I was hoping that when I lay there long enough and then just peeked over the edge when I was at the end of the dive, they would have come closer. Sadly, no luck. This kept going on for quite a while, with Pollux just turning around the second they saw me. But then, out of the blue,
moments after, I see a decent pollock laying behind a rock. To not spook it away, I approached the rock so it would be mostly between me and the fish, and I dove as silent as I possibly could. That doesn't help when your ears are messing up though. Luckily, all good. Yeah, those cards, they were gone before I put my head back in the water. Three hours left. I've seen some cards now, but uh, they just went super deep, super fast. The products are still super elusive. And it's a challenge to hunt them, but... Challenge accepted, I guess. Just got one. Nice one here. But still, I have four more left to fill the quota. And speaking of the devil, after pulling the trigger, it's always smart to have a quick look around. The sound startled quite a few fish, and moving fish are way easier to spot. Maybe not on video, but here it is, two minutes later. And finally I caught! It was laying between some rocks, so I started to unload the spear gun, so not to bend the spear. But when it came out in the open, never mind. I then checked out quite a few of the rocks nearby with no results. And then the GoPro on my head died. I didn't catch any more cods, but I managed to fill up the quota on Pollock on the way back. Also, just by the boat, I found this beautiful thornback ray laying in the sand. Back at the harbour, the mood was good as you got your picture taken, stood in line to get your fish weighed in, got some applause for your amazing catch, and then spending about two hours preserving your fish. Even though I'm quite happy with my catch after all, I ended up spot on in the middle at place 15. There was stiff competition. I mean, look at that fish. In the male class, Kim from Finland won, and Lisbeth from Denmark took the gold in the women's class. Congrats to both of you and to all the other medalists. Already looking forward to next year. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. So there's an eagle sitting right in the middle of the frame here. It's a beautiful eagle. I've seen him around in the area. And I can definitely understand why he's here. Because it's a lot of shallow sand with plenty of herring and mackerel. This goes really shallow. So it should be an easy target for him. Now just 15 meters away. He's checking me out. <laughs> he's been looking at me for quite some time now. Or maybe he's just interested in my fish. That might also be.
What a beautiful animal. All the things you see while spearfishing. It's amazing. Whew.